I can tell you that there was a mental switch in my brain and I was not the same person in 2015 as I was when I got started at the end of 2014. I wasn't the same person. And it takes changing who you are to become who you wanna be. You can't stay the same and expect different results. If you keep doing what you're doing, you'll keep getting what you're getting, right? Who is that person that's that's sitting in the in the driver's seat of whatever that specific thing that you want? Like who who is that person? And because until you become that person, you'll never have it. Uh, and I right. think that that's that's it's a different mindset in looking at your goals to first look at the person you have to become and then figure out the things that you have to do to become that person. Right. And it all circles back to hard work. Hard work is ultimately the variable of success. It's the only thing that matters. You can be the absolute worst. I used to tell our agents this all the time that when I got started, I was not good at what I'm doing right now. I'm great at what I'm doing right now currently. But when I first got started, I was not good at it. But I outworked everybody. If you want to get a Lamborghini next year, break it down. Okay, I need two hundred thousand yep. dollars. So here's how much I have to make per month in order to get that Extra. at the end of this year. Right. And here's the action items. Like here's the things that I have to do on a daily basis in order to generate the revenue to meet that goal to be able to then purchase that vehicle. And yep. you can map it out. Like whatever it is, you can map it out. The hard work. That's all you. That is all what's inside you, and nobody can give you that, nobody can teach you that, nobody can train you on hard work, but you can work yourself out of any situation. You can be terrible at what you're doing, and if you work hard enough at it, you can literally fail yourself to the top. I used to say it all the time. I am failing my way to the top. My close ratio sucks, but I'm gonna see more people than every single other person in this company, and I will fail my way to the top and probably get better along the way, and we'll figure that out as far as the close ratio, and I can start making more efficient use of my time. Uh, but what I do know is that the principles of hard work over a long period of time consistently will always win. Do your actions match your ambition? Like, do you talk about like, oh, one day when I'm successful, oh, hey, I'm gonna start this business, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But what did you do today? Like, did you get into the office, like rolled in around like 9.30 and took an hour and a half break for lunch and uh, got home, left at 4, 4.30, like God forbid you stay longer than 5 p.m. Uh, got home and, and, and hung out and you know, had a couple beers on the couch watching the game and uh, went to sleep. Like, or did you put in legit work today? Wherever you are at this moment, you can take it to the next level, but it'll only be by making that decision to start working two, three, four, five times harder than you are now. And are you willing to do that? That will ultimately decide whether you're successful or not.